free pickup and delivery for service. Now at Land Rover Peoria. Earlier tonight, millions of viewers tuned in right here to NBC to watch Chevelle, the country singer, win the live finale of The Voice. Pretty impressive at just 16 years old, but I tell you who else is impressive, and if you like music, well, we do have plenty of talented performers right here in central Illinois. Tonight, we take a behind-the-scenes look at a local sports star turned country crooner in our special report, Making It, the Joe Stam Band story. Dandelion Woman. With the new release of his latest CD and an edgy music video for the feature track of Dandelion Woman, Joe Stam is keeping busy. When he's not writing or recording new music, he's performing at venues all over central Illinois and beyond. From opening for country music star Easton Corbin at Washington Five Points to playing before a packed crowd at Cruisins in Peoria, the Metamora native is seemingly everywhere, much to the delight of his growing fan base. It's just, it makes me want to get up and dance, and uh, yeah, I just love it. He's got a really great voice, number one. Number two, he's got a really good um, a presence, you know. While fans' loyalty is certainly a testament to his talent, it's also a result of a lot of hard work. Joe plays two to five shows a week. In 2018 alone, he will have played around 150 shows. But despite the occasional brush with music, this early picture implies his singing and songwriting didn't start till much later. Long before the bright lights of the stage, Joe gained attention under the Friday night lights of Metamora High School's football field. Well, Joe worked extremely hard, and he was very passionate. Uh, Joe's the kind of guy that whatever he's going to get into, he's, it's, it's, the throttle's always open. A talented quarterback, Joe led his team to back-to-back -back state appearances in 1999 and 2000. He accepted a full ride to Northern Illinois University to play football when he was sidelined by an injury. I was a quarterback and, and I had a bad shoulder injury that I went into college with and uh, the doctors and trainers told me after a year of trying to rehab and a few surgeries that it just wasn't going to happen anymore. Still, he refused to give up the game completely, transferring to Taylor University in Indiana where he could continue playing, this time in a defensive position. Sadly, the injury again proved to be too much, but that prompted him to pick up a new challenge. In order to graduate college, I had to take a music course, and so I took intro to guitar. And I really barely knew how to play a couple chords before I wrote my first song. <laughs> it was called 8-Ball, and it was legitimately about playing pool. Um, and it was kind of one of those things about like, sinking the 8-Ball too soon, and it was horrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Still, he had natural talent and wasn't afraid of the limelight, even taking to the stage for a talent contest his senior year at Taylor. Was I surprised about him going into music? Seriously, not because it's my son, but the kid was born with a gift set. He can write, he can draw, he can paint, he can do athletics, he can sing. Whatever he does, whatever he takes up, he'll give it 100%, whether it's sports, music, and I'll make a difference what it is. For Joe, it was all about the songwriting. I love good stories. I like telling good stories. I like creating good stories. Over the years, Joe continued playing shows till 2016. He took a leap of faith chronicled in this Facebook post where he decided to quit his day job and pursue a music career full time. I think the reality of it hit me um, that maybe I could make a run at this. It was around this time the remaining members of the Joe Stam band all finally came into the picture. They don't just add complexity to Joe's lyrics, they bring plenty of camaraderie and laughter to the stage. We can probably play around 100 and we'll There's always uh -oh. interview foul, always interview foul. <laughs> Honey, we're in the middle of the interview. <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> uh, okay, I got I got <laughs> But it's not just fun and games. The band practices weekly. All the while, Joe stays busy behind the scenes, especially on social media, interacting with fans. And it's all starting to pay off. The song First Saw You, a duet Joe recorded with another artist, made Apple Music's breaking country playlist.
as downloads continue to go up on other platforms too, including Spotify. And the band is now booking shows a year in advance, not just here, but more and more out of state, from Iowa to Alabama. The sky seems to be the limit for this central Illinois boy and his band, with their names destined to appear in bigger and brighter marquees. For now, though, Joe says he's just happy doing something he loves. If the radio never plays any of my songs, that's okay. As long as I can maintain and grow an audience, and again, you know, do it well enough that I can keep the lights on, pay my bills, then that's making it. When I first saw you. Now, I'm obviously biased. I'm a fan. I think he and his band rock. But truly, their work ethic is incredible. They're so creative. It's a lot of shows in one year. They really do. They work hard. Now, if you're interested in hearing more about the Joe Stan Band, we have some great web extras we put on our website, wek.com, along with some extra pictures. And we have some links to his Facebook page and his website, so you can check out his tunes for yourself. Good luck.